All right, what's going on, guys? Hey, first, let me know if you hold any Tesla stock down below and drop a like, subscribe, of course. I'm going to go into the details of Tesla. I'm going to teach you everything from stochastic RSI, wedges, trend lines, and really my next price target for Tesla. So all I ask, guys, if you see any value, don't forget to share it, drop a like, and let me know down below that you want more Tesla content. And also let me know if you like this setup right here where you can see the chart very clearly and um, just trying some new things, you know, the rest of this year on YouTube. So appreciate you all for being here. Now with Tesla, of course, it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is all just my own opinion. And I always recommend that you do your own research at the end of the day. But let's look at Tesla. Now, the first thing you guys got to be aware of is I have this pennant type thing right here for you. Okay. And Tesla has always rejected, you know, back in November of 2021, Tesla topped out and started to crash lower. And you can see we've had a wick here, rejected, wick here, rejected, wick here, rejected, rejected, rejected. You can count these also. This did not close the monthly candle. We actually got above it. We got pretty high. We got up to 268, but ultimately we rejected. But guess what's happening right now, guys? This is September 5th when I'm making this video. You're probably seeing this on September 6th though. And we are actually breaking out right now for Tesla, which is very exciting, especially if we can close the monthly candle. By the way, these are each a month right here. If we close the monthly candle above this descending trend line, what does that mean, guys? That means the floor is in for Tesla and it's time to get very, very excited. Another thing that you want to look at is right now we're trading on top of the 21 EMA, which is very good. Okay. So the next areas that I'm looking for is in all honesty, guys, the 618 level is going to be a point of resistance around $300. You can see there's a wick here. This is all resistance right here. Let me actually explain something real quick. So when we tested this and we retrace, this is very strong resistance. So we came up, boom, came up, boom. So we're going to come up again, 618 level, very strong resistance. And we're either going to break out or we're going to fall back down. So this might be a trading opportunity for you guys. Now, for me, I'm not selling anything at least till we get to 300. Um, I will reevaluate then and see where we're at with the stochastic and the RSI, which we'll get into in a second. And really what I look for in the stochastic and RSI are overbought levels on a weekly and daily time frame if I want to get out of a stock. But with Tesla right now, trading on a monthly at 52 and the stochastic is actually curling up, I would not sell anything here. This is kind of reminding me of this right here, which could happen. Is the stochastic back here in 2019 was pretty high and it just started to rally. You could see we were actually priced at $23 for Tesla back in the day. The RSI also was kind of paired where we're at right now, around 50, 54, and then the rally started for months, for years, right? I mean, it was down here when we were trading right above the 21 EMA, just like what we're doing right now. Now we broke out of a, a huge resistance point on this descending trend line, and from December 2019, all the way to October 2021, this thing rallied, guys. That's almost two years. What do you think the next two years is going to look like for Tesla? If you're getting any value, guys, all I ask is you drop a like and leave a comment down below. And let me know if you want more Tesla information of me sharing the news and everything in regards to that. And of course, guys, if you want to join my Patreon, the links are down below. We go over all of this in more detail. I post a lot more videos on there. I'm also doing a four-day money-back guarantee. Excuse me if you hear my dog walking in the background. Four-day money-back guarantee. You could test it out. If you see no value or you don't want to be a part of it, I will refund your investment back to you within four days. Okay. So now let's kind of break down. Well, what are some other levels we can look for based off Fibonacci? So we already understand $300 is going to be a very strong point of resistance. I think if we could break above the 786 level of about 350, then this thing is ready to move much higher. The next area I'd be looking for is about 600. This is definitely an area I would probably take profit at because I can only assume that the stochastic and the RSI will be very overbought at this point. I'll also be watching Keltner lines very closely on a monthly time frame to tell me when to collect my investment profits. So if we look at a weekly also, I want to just share this with you. 
every time the RSI gets to overbought levels, you can see right here, very overbought, 85. We're touching the yellow Keltner line also. It sells off, okay? You got to think of this like, okay, I got to get out of the asset for weeks to months because this might be the top. Again, it happened here. We also had some negative divergence forming right over here. So what's negative divergence? When the RSI makes lower highs, but the asset makes higher highs, and that's what Tesla was doing all right here, right? And then touch the yellow Keltner line, negative divergence, time to sell. Asset moves down for weeks to months. Okay, so right now, where are we? Well, right now, we haven't actually done anything yet. You could see that this was not negative divergence right here because the, the RSI did make a lower high, but the asset did not make a higher high. So what is Tesla going to do now? Trading above the 21 EMA on a weekly time frame. This thing is about to run, I believe. And let's just say, guys, at 228, where we're at, all the way up to 300 would be about a 32% move higher from where we're at today. So let me know let me know down below if you're buying if you're holding what is your plan with tesla um, right now also just so you guys are aware we have a lower high here but still the assets not higher so i would assume this is going to move much higher and then we'll see some resistance in this area let me actually see if i can draw for you guys so i'm probably go like this chop around maybe come down and then move up that's a rough draft of what could happen next but hopefully this video was valuable for you. Just wanted to introduce these Tesla videos. Let me know if you like this format. If you want more Tesla content, maybe more day trading type of charts or whatever it might be, let me know. And I hope you all have a great day. Again, do your own research. Do what's best for you and your family. See you on the next one.